This is the soft tactical tourniquet. When you place it, you want to get it high and tight on the extremity. There's a small ring which hooks here, clicks into place, and then you cinch it tight. You take the windlass and you twist it until the bleeding's controlled and then you tuck it into the ring here, which secures it. And at that point, the bleeding stopped. This is a CLAX A hemostatic dressing. Uh, it was designed for deep track wounds, such as those made with a knife or a gunshot wound. It's placed into the wound. The particles are injected into the wound, and then direct pressure is applied. Pressure should be maintained for at least three to five minutes, and it can be used in conjunction with an Israeli pressure dressing or similar pressure bandage. And this plastic part should be placed directly over the wound. to help maintain pressure and continue to wrap. At the end of it is a plastic clip that allows you to reach around and keep it tight and then tuck it in to hold it in place. We're going to demonstrate the SWAT tourniquet. SWAT stands for stretch, wrap, and tuck. The tourniquet is essentially a large rubber band that can be put in place. It has indicators on the outside of it that allows you to determine how much tension is placed. The advantage of the SWAT tourniquet is it has multi-uses. Uh, you can use it as, to hold other dressings in place. You can use it as a tourniquet. You can help immobilize the limb. It's relatively inexpensive. It's easy to use. The SWAT tourniquet has indicator marks on the outside of it so you can determine how much pressure to put to effectively control the bleeding. When placing a tourniquet, it should be placed high up on the extremity. Once it's up high and tight, you start to wrap the tourniquet until it, it's held in place and continue to exert and stretch the tourniquet so the marks indicate that the proper tension is applied. Continue wrapping the tourniquet until it's tight and you reach the free end. Take the free end and tuck it underneath to hold it in place.